Imagine this. Some 720 to 635 million years ago, our Earth wasn't the blue and green marble we know today. From space, it would have looked like a giant glistening snowball, shining bright white. Yes, you heard that right. Our planet was almost entirely, if not completely, covered in ice. Scientists call this the Cryogenian Ice Age, but we can think of it as the Snowball Earth Saga. How did Earth turn into a snowball? Back then, the continents weren't arranged like they are now. There was a huge supercontinent, and it started to break apart. This led to more exposed rocks that absorbed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Once the ice melted and the oceans filled with nutrients, it was like a golden age for the tiny organisms that had managed to survive. It was as if they woke up from a long sleep, and they began to multiply and evolve at an astonishing rate. There were no fish, dinosaurs, or humans yet, but these new creatures laid the groundwork for all future life. It's an incredible story that shows just how resilient Earth and the life on it can be. Our planet froze, then thawed, and this immense change acted as a catalyst for life to become more complex and diverse. It's one of the greatest and most exciting stories our planet has to tell us, because those harsh Ice Age conditions might have forced living things to become more resilient and find new ways to survive. Also, as the ice melted, oxygen levels in the oceans increased dramatically. More oxygen was a fantastic opportunity for living things to develop larger, more complex structures. How did anything survive in such extreme cold? The carbon dioxide released from volcanic eruptions continued to build up in the atmosphere. Eventually, this gas overpowered the reflective power of the ice, and the planet began to warm. As the ice melted, an incredible sight unfolded. Vast amounts of nutrients flowed into the oceans. The glaciers had ground down rocks as they moved, carrying these vital nutrients into the sea. This is one of the most intriguing parts of the story. Life back then wasn't complex like it is today, it was mostly made up of tiny, single-celled organisms, probably managed to survive in cracks in the ice, in pockets of melted water beneath the glaciers. Or perhaps in thin strips of open water near the equator, where the ice might have been a bit thinner. It was almost as if they went into a frozen sleep, but they didn't disappear completely. As carbon dioxide levels dropped, Earth slowly began to cool. Plus, ice has a special property. It reflects sunlight very well. So as the ice sheets grew, they reflected more and more sunlight back into space, causing the planet to cool even further. It became a runaway effect, and eventually, ice covered everything from the poles to the equator. Even the oceans were trapped under thick layers of ice. 